our friends, welcome to Sketch Sunday. Today I'll be teaching you how to sketch Chucky. So first we're gonna get started right in the middle of our page, drawing a nice big circle for the head. Now we're going to come over to the left and we're going to bring the cheeks out a little bit. So we're going to curve our line out, we're going to bring this down, and we're going to bring this over and in towards the middle of our paper. Moving over to the right, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to curve this out and then we're going to curve this back in towards the middle of our page again. Now from here over on this left side, we're going to draw a curved line that comes across the center. And then now we're going to draw a straight line right down the center, all the way to the bottom. Moving over towards the top now, moving over to the left slightly, we're going to curve our line up and then over towards the right for the hair. This is just gonna let us know where we should put the hair. So we're just gonna curve this down. We're gonna curve this out. And then we're gonna bring this across and in towards the side there. Moving over to the left side now, we're going to do the same thing. So we're just gonna curve this out, following this down the side of our page. We're gonna curve this in towards the bottom, ending it at around the same height. And then now we're just gonna curve that back in towards the side. Now moving back in with our darker shade pencil, we're going to start framing in the details. So we're gonna start first with the eyes. So starting right in the middle here, I'm going to curve a line from the center line here all the way over towards the right. And then I'm gonna curve this up and over on top of that line now, and I'm gonna curve this over to the right. I'm just gonna make this line a little bit thicker as I come across. Now coming underneath this, I'm going to draw in a half circle for the people. And then I'm just gonna color that in black. Moving in again underneath, just going to follow another line around for the pupil again. And then now coming over further in towards the line here, just over towards the left, I'm gonna curve this line all the way around. And I'm gonna bring this up and over to the corner here. And then we can make this line a little bit thicker as we come down towards the center. And now we're gonna move over to the left side and we're going to do the same thing. So we're gonna curve this line up and over towards the left. And now dropping underneath, we're going to come in again and draw in a half circle for the pupil. Shading that in black again. Now moving around this, we're just going to draw in another circle following that around. and up and over towards the right there. 
And then now over on the bottom here, we're gonna curve a line that comes out and over towards the left. We're gonna move over to the left side. Now we're gonna thicken this up as we come down here over on the left side. And then now over on the top, we're just gonna thicken this line up again. So we're gonna bring another line that comes up and over. And then we're gonna curve this down towards this bottom line where the circle meets here. And then now on the inside here, we're just going to arch this in and over towards this line on the bottom. And then now we're gonna bring this out and across again. And then we're gonna curve this out and over towards that line on the left. And then we're just gonna fill all of this in with our black pencil. Moving over to the right, we're just gonna thicken this line up too. So we're gonna come on top here and we're just gonna shade this in again with our black pencil. Curving this out. And then as we get to a point here, we're gonna bring this down on the bottom, bringing this in. We're gonna curve this back out towards the bottom with a sharp point, curving it back in. And then we're gonna bring this all the way up and over and in towards the inside. Now we're gonna move a little bit lower and we're just going to draw in the nose. So on this left side, I'm gonna curve a line that comes out, doing the same thing on the right. And then from underneath here, we're going to drop a little bit lower and I'm going to draw a curved line that comes right across towards the center. Moving over to the right side, we're gonna curve this out and then curving it back in towards the top. And then moving over to the left side, we're going to do this one more time. And then we're just gonna thicken up these lines again. And just bringing that line up on the side there. Now moving over towards the right side, I'm going to curve a line that comes out and then down for the mouth. Moving over to the left, we're going to do the same thing. So we're gonna line it up at around the same height Curving it out and then in. And then now from here, we're going to draw in the mouth. So starting on this line here where the circle is at the bottom, we're going to curve our line over towards the right. And then now we're going to bring this line down, curving this all the way around on the bottom again. And we're gonna arch this back up and over towards the right side. And now from here, we're going to close this off at the top with another curved line. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom for that bottom lip. Now on the inside here, we're going to draw in the teeth. So starting right in the middle, we're gonna curve our line down. We're gonna curve it out towards the right across and then back up. And then we're gonna curve this out one more time, across and then back up. Doing the same thing on the left now, just curving that up and then one more time. And then everything behind this, we're just going to shade this in black again. Now moving underneath, we're just going to draw a little line underneath like this. And then now from here down towards the bottom, we're just gonna draw a nice thick line. And we're just gonna fill that in black. Moving back over towards this left side now, we're going to curve this line out like we did before. And then we're gonna bring this back in and over and up. And we're gonna fill this all in black again. Now on this bottom part, we're going to curve our line that comes down and in towards the cheek here. But we're gonna make this line nice and thick. And then from here, we're going to come across and draw some horizontal lines for the stitches. And we're just gonna make those nice and thick. Now moving over, we're going to start framing in the hair. So starting on this top line here, moving over to the right, we're gonna curve our line that comes up towards the top right. 
We're gonna bring this back down. We're gonna curve another one that comes out towards the right, bringing it back down. And we're just gonna do this one more time, making it a little bit longer, bringing that back in. And then now we're going to do this again, curving it out towards the right, bringing it back in. And then now we're just going to follow this line all the way up and over to the right. And we're gonna start bringing this down towards the side of the head. So we're gonna arch that out, back in, bringing this down. We're gonna bring it out here towards the side. And then now from here, we're just gonna extend this line back up, following this all the way over and in towards the middle. And then now we're gonna bring this out and back in towards the top. And now we're just gonna fill all this in black. Moving over to the left of this now, we're going to curve our line down. We're gonna straighten this out at the side as we come down. We're gonna frame in the side of the face. So we're gonna curve this line back up and in towards the middle. We're gonna follow it out on the cheek here. We're gonna bring it down, rounding it out at the bottom for the chin, curving it back up and over towards the right. And then we're gonna bring this back up and over and in towards the side. Now over on this left side, I'm going to curve some lines that come out towards the left and we're gonna just bring these over, back in, over, back in, over. And then we're gonna just follow this as we come across. Again, just filling those in. And then now we're gonna come up and over towards the top here. We're gonna curve our line out and up. We're gonna bring this in a few times, curving it out. We're gonna follow this line over, bringing it back down, bringing it out. Now we're just gonna to continue to bring this in towards the right. As we come down, we're gonna bring this out, down, bringing this out, curving it out there, looking that out to the right. Now we're gonna curve this back in. We're gonna bring this down and out, bringing it back in. We're gonna follow this down, curving it back in, arching it at the bottom, curving it back in. We're gonna bring one more line that curves out and in, doing the same thing on the right, back in. And then we're just gonna follow this over and in towards the side here. Moving on to the inside now, we're going to draw another long line that comes down. We're gonna curve this in towards the right. We're gonna follow this line here, curving it down. We're gonna bring this in towards the side of the cheek, curving it in, bringing it back out again, curving it back in. We're gonna do this one more time as we come down. Then from here, we're gonna bring this line up, arching it back in, do this one more time, one more time there, bringing it down, curving this up towards the top, bringing it back in, bringing this all the way over to the left, bringing it back in. And then we're gonna bring this up to the top and just keep bringing that pattern up like that. And then now where we have these lines, we're just gonna again shade this in black. Moving back over onto the inside now, we're just gonna curve this line in one more time, back out, curving it in, back out, and we're just gonna bring this up and over and just fill this part in black as well. Now we're gonna move over to the left and frame in the left side of the hair. So starting on the top here, we're gonna curve this line out. I'm gonna bring this out to the side, plugging this back in. I'm gonna do this one more time. Then now we're gonna bring this back out towards the left again, curving it back in. We're gonna follow this two more times. Now we're gonna bring this down and out. We're gonna bring it back in on the side. We're gonna curve it back in on the bottom, curving it back in, bringing it back out 
towards the bottom, curving it out. Now we're gonna bring it back in towards the bottom, bringing it in, bringing it back out, curving it to the top, bringing it back in. And we're just gonna follow this zigzag pattern over towards the underneath of the cheek. Now on this left side, we're gonna bring a line that comes down. We're gonna bring this back up, bringing it back down, curving this back in towards the right, curving this back down. On this left side here on the bottom, I'm just gonna quickly draw in the ears. So we're gonna draw a half circle. We're gonna draw a line that comes out on the left. And then now we're just going to bring this hair strand over top of that, curving it back up, bringing it back out one more time, curving it back up. We're gonna bring this line back down, bring it back up, back in. We're gonna bring this all the way up and over towards the top. Then we're gonna bring it back down and across. And then we're just gonna shade this part in black. Now moving over towards the top here, I'm just gonna follow this line, curving it back out, curving it back in, bringing that back out to the right, bringing this all the way over to the side now. Bringing it in slightly over towards the right, back in, curving it out all the way down. And we're just gonna keep following this sort of pattern as we come down, curving it back in towards the middle, back down. I'm gonna follow this into the underneath, curving it back in, down, back in, down. I'm just gonna follow this pattern as we come up towards that line there. Then we're going to bring this back down and then up one more time and then back down. And then I'm just gonna fill all of this area in black as well. Now we're going to move back in and over to this right side. We're gonna curve our line up and then over. We're gonna do the same thing one more time. Then we're gonna fill this part in black again. And then we're gonna draw some lines that come across and over towards the right. We're gonna extend the dark portion out here over towards the right and then we're just gonna fill this portion in. Like that. And then now moving over towards the left, we're gonna bring our line up. We're gonna kind of be a little bit wavy with this line up and over past the center line. Now we're gonna curve this back down, just following this, getting a little bit wider at the base. Bringing a line that comes out towards the middle, bringing it back in. And then now moving over to the left, we're just gonna do the same thing. So being a little bit wavy with this, bringing it up. And then we're gonna bring this back down. And we're gonna fill these all in black again. And then now from here, we're just going to draw those uh, lines that come across for the stitches. So we're just gonna make these lines quite thick as we come across, starting from the top, coming down. Just kind of alternating the direction that they come in as we move down. And then doing the same thing over on this left side. And then the same thing that we did over on this right side here, we're just going to follow that through and do that in the middle. And then we're going to do one last one that comes down on the left. So we're going to draw a line that comes down, making this a little bit thicker as we come down here. And then now we're just going to bring our lines across for two more stitches. And then one last thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring our pencil to the side on the left. We're gonna curve this line down for the neck, doing the same thing on the right. And then now we're going to come in and over on the hair. We're just going to use the side of our pencil and just follow the hair strands. And we're just gonna bring these around. We can even turn our page when we do this to make it easier. And we're just gonna follow this direction. Now that we have the main hair in place, we can just kind of go over this and just kind of 
bring our strands out and down towards the bottom. We're gonna move over to the left side now and do the same thing. So just curving this out and over towards the left. And then we're gonna bring this down on the side, doing the same thing. And then we'll just shade underneath the neck there, just to add a little bit of depth there. Making sure to just shade in around the pupil. You can even shade in a little bit darker on top. And then the last and most important thing that we're going to do today is make sure to sign our picture and that is it. That's how you sketch Chucky. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I'll see you guys on the next one.